Oh my goodness. That took everything. That took everything. A while back, I made a DIY magnetic stirrer to try and rinse my resin prints. It was made out of a PC case fan, some 3D printed parts, and some very small neodymium magnets. It worked moderately well, so I revisited the project to try and see if I could get a little bit better performance out of it. I wanted to see if it could win a shootout against the cheapest magnetic stirrer you can buy on Amazon. It did not go well. Come on. Come on. But I think I know what the problem is, and I'm pretty sure I know how to solve it. It's as simple as following the advice of the actual chem professor in the comments. Now to summarize this relatively long comment, what I think he's suggesting is... More power! That PC case fan is the problem. It doesn't have the torque, it doesn't have the power to drive that magnet through the volume of liquid that I'm trying to work with here. It just can't do it. If I was trying to mix up a piddly little puddle, this thing would be perfect. But I want a big old massive volume of liquid, which means I need a big old beefy drill motor, which thankfully I just happen to have lying around. Now, because a drill motor is significantly taller than a PC case fan, this case needs a dramatic redesign, including some solid mount points for the motor, as well as the hard drive magnet that's going to go on the end of it. And once all that was done, it was time to print it out on Lord Chungus Humongous and slap it all together. The design for this one is really, really simple. It's a box. I mean, that's it. It's a box with a slide-on door to cover up the electronics on the bottom. Inside, you're gonna find that a motor mount takes up most of the internal space there. There's also the little edge for the fan controller up front and around back, a little DC plug for the power coming in. And that is literally all there is to it. Now let's plug it in and see if this thing actually works. Editing Ken here. That power supply completely failed, did not work at all, and I forgot to record it because I'm a professional. But just trust me, I did actually fail. The issue here is that my power supply just doesn't have the juice. See, my old magnetic stirrer ran on a 12 volt, 2 amp power supply. It was meant for a security camera, and I knew it wouldn't be enough for this big old beefy drill motor. So instead, I searched around in my storage, and I found a 65 watt laptop charger. Now, that's 19 and a half volts at 3.3 amps. You would think that that would be good. No, I think you are wrong about that. So I did a little bit more rooting around in my storage and I strongly considered for a few minutes going with a 3D printer power supply that I had lying around. That's 12 volts at 30 amps. Is it overkill? Yeah, absolutely, yes, in every way, absolutely. Problem is I'd have to wire in some mains voltage and I determined that this project isn't the one that I wanna risk my life on. Nah. A little more rooting around and I found this old HP all-in-one power supply that's able to deliver 120 watts. That's 19 and a half volts at six amps. That should be more than enough for this project. Even though I probably can't run the motor at 100% speed, I don't think I was ever gonna be doing that anyways. So I think I'm good to go. Now, have you heard enough about power supplies and electricity for one episode? <laughs> I hope so, cause I'm done talking about it. Cool. Can we talk about something else now? All right, now let's talk a little bit about the actual stirrer inside there doing the work. Last video, I made a pretty cool looking impeller design that I really, really liked, but it just never worked with that old magnetic stirrer. I'm gonna give that thing a shot because it's really cool and I'd like for it to work. 
Of course, failing that, I still do have the actual magnetic stir bar that goes with the stirrer I bought from Amazon, and I can use that thing if all else fails. They should both work with that hard drive magnet. Again, I really want this one to work, though, because I think it'd be really, really cool if it did. <laughs> nope. Okay. That was really quick and easy. No way that this one's going to work. All right, I had this problem on the last video too. It's just where I can't keep that stirrer in sync with the magnet. Now, then I thought that it was just the torque that was the issue, which this motor, of course, is able to fix. But now I'm starting to think that it's speed that's the issue here. It's just going too fast and getting out of sync almost immediately. So I got to find some way to reduce that motor speed dramatically. And the easiest way to do that is to just drop down that voltage. That's something that I do all the time using DC step-down converters. Come on. Too fast. Okay, too fast. Too fast again. Somehow also too fast. Come on. All right, clearly that didn't help. So now I'm at the point of just absolute frustration. I, I mean, if it was torque, this motor was supposed to fix that. If it's speed, reducing the speed should fix that. It's none of those things. So what is the problem? Like at this point, I'm doing dumb stuff. I'm ready to just toss a wood screw in there and use that as my stirrer. Oh, come on. Seriously? I cannot believe that worked. So stupid. And it works well. Why does it work so well? Oh my goodness. Why? Why? Why does this work? I, I have no idea. This should not work as well as it does. It's a dumb answer. I put real time and design and engineering into my little stir bars and even tried using a real magnetic stir bar and those don't work. But the wood screw, the wood screw works stupidly well. How is that a thing? How does that work? I refuse to accept this. I'm not gonna just going to take that a wood screw is as good as I can do. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm redesigning my magnetic stirrer turbine with some extra blades. And I'm also, instead of using magnets on the bottom, just going to use some stainless steel discs, some magnet backers. That should do the trick, right? Well, it didn't. It didn't do the trick. And I started getting frustrated again and thinking about doing very dumb things again. All right, so the wood screw somehow works. And this thing that I love doesn't. So I'm going to do a really dumb thing and just embed that wood screw into this. I already popped out the little uh, the little steel magnet backers. We're gonna give this a shot. Okay. Give this a shot. And that also did not work. So, uh, you know, I don't know. Okay. This is, uh, this is not a science channel. I'm not an engineer. I'm not a physicist. I don't know things. And I've probably lost too many brain cells in my youth to know anything now. So I'm trying, okay. I'm trying to follow the scientific method, but I don't know what the problem is. I do know for a fact that I could probably stand to lose a little bit more speed from that motor, which I'll do by limiting the voltage further. But beyond that, I don't know because I think the problem isn't speed. I think it's acceleration. And I don't know of any way that I could more gradually ramp the acceleration on this thing, get that speed up. I, I don't know how to do that. Like, I feel like I need a logarithmic increase in speed, but I mean, I don't know that for sure because I don't know what logarithmic means. So that could be completely wrong. Look, why don't I just start by lowering the voltage a little further to get that speed down and see where we're at. 
We're going to do this live. Oh my goodness, that took everything, that took everything. You gotta start it at the right speed. I, I don't know how to drive a race car, but I gotta imagine this is close to how you drive a race car. Okay, well, speed it is. I guess that fixed my problem. Look, to be clear, acceleration is still an issue because it's really a hassle to try and get this thing started. It's not guaranteed every time that it's going to sync up properly, but when it does, it works really well. Like, it works really, really well, and it performs about on par with a magnetic stirrer that I bought off of Amazon. That's pretty cool. But now I just have one more... Stupid question to answer. I quit. I don't... I, <laughs> I'll see you next time, okay? Like, comment, subscribe, and you too can be the greatest of all time, like apparently this little wood screw is. Bye. Because this thing is a massive plan to get started. What scientific phenomena am I unable to explain here? Phenomena. I need sleep.